Mac Rhodes, director of athletics at Baylor University, uh, about 24 hours from the time an extension was announced by Baylor, and about 24 hours prior to when the Big 12 announced that also Bob Bowlesby would be stepping down in the future as the commissioner when they find his replacement. Mac, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Was yesterday's announcement with your extension proactive to what today's announcement was in the Big 12? Completely, completely separate, separate incidences. So um, I, uh, I am um, certainly bittersweet, mixed emotions about about Commissioner Bolsby, and um, I, I know that you you haven't asked me, but um, I've got great, great respect and admiration for him, and you know his his decade long tenure as uh, as commissioner for the Big Twelve. I, I think he's done it as as well as anybody or better than than any other power power five commissioner and um i just uh you know i uh i'm i'm happy for him because um you know this is this is uh what what he's decided to do what what his family and him have have decided to do and and um uh, you know again he's he's been he's been tremendous for the big 12 He's he's become a, a great a great friend and um, and um, you know he's he's allowed Baylor to uh, to to uh, regain credibility and uh, and and he's allowed quite frankly Baylor to to be a to, to be a leader um, with within the Big Twelve so. Um, just grateful for him and, and have a uh, as as I mentioned a lot of a lot of admiration and respect for for him. Is this you know just going from I'm sure you guys know you know, these things before they happen we all know that but uh, is this the right time to start that transition with uh, so many new things on the horizon and you knowing the structure of the conference going forward? Yeah, I, I think if you know if you logically just break it down with with everything that that we're facing right now when you think about you know cfp future expansion when you think about name image and likeness transfer portal uh transformation committee um austin and and then um you know probably even more importantly think about new members coming in 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 july of 2023 you think about new new tv contract you know that ends in in 2025 right spring summer of, of 2025 but you begin negotiations right probably a year in advance of that and so uh when you think about runway for for a new person um this this timing right now logically makes makes the 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 best sense and um and that's that's what i appreciate about about the commissioner um he he knows that um, knew that, and I I think he he took that that into consideration when you know he he thought about Big Twelve future and what what's best for Big Twelve, um, knowing that he he probably didn't didn't want to you know continue on as as commissioner you know past past twenty twenty five in in his in his his current agreement and. Um, and so, again, I, I certainly appreciate appreciate him, um, but it, it doesn't surprise me uh, about him when you um, when you when you know him, and, and again, you know, completely thinking about what's what's best for for the Big Twelve moving moving forward. Mac, I just saw a tweet from uh, Max Olson of the Athletic says uh, the Big Twelve wants to have a new commissioner in place in ninety days, according to Tech President and Board Chair Lawrence Shavonic. Uh, he told the Athletics, "That sound about right." Yeah, I, I think that you know, um, un, un, uncertainty is 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 difficult. Um, you know, I, I think that uh, you know, for you know, Commissioner Bolsby to to remain as as commissioner and, and serving, you know, continue to serve as commissioner until the, the new commissioner steps in. Um, I, I think that is, um, 
you know, the, 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 the best way to do that in terms of the upcoming transition and, you know, 90 days, um, you, you think about, you know, the summer and, and really giving somebody an opportunity to, to come on in and, you know, do all of the normal things you, you do when you, when you begin a, a job, you know, begin to take a look at, at staff and, 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 uh, and decide, you know, what's pressing, what's not pressing, uh, begin to develop relationships, uh, immediately. And, uh, and I think, you know, that, that year runway, um, I think is, is probably, um, needed when you think about bringing in the, the new members and, and everything that, that goes with that. So, yes, I think the, I think the 90 days is, is accurate. And, um, and I, I, you know, and I think it's also not just accurate, but, but necessary. Mac, what's more important? You'd like to get both, whoever is that next person, uh, someone with media experience because of the TV negotiations down the road or somebody that understands the issues facing college athletics that are even bigger than that? It's a, it's a great question. Um, I think the easy answer would be right. Both, uh, all of it. Um, but, um, you know, if, and, and this is one person's opinion, um, I'm, I'm hiring somebody that, um, has, uh, great relational skills, interpersonal skills that, that really, um, is, is elite at, at building relationships. I think, um, uh, I'm hiring somebody that, um, uh, is, is going to be an outstanding leader. And, um, uh, you know, again, that, uh, that, that can, can surround themselves with, with, with terrific talent, um, that can, can take, you know, current staff and, and, and push them and, 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 uh, you know, make them, make them better. Um, uh, I'm, I'm hiring, yes, somebody that, that has a, a familiarity and a strong sense of the issues that we're, we're facing. Um, I think that's, that's really important. I think that, that curve is, is really steep if you, if you don't. Um, I'm, I'm hiring somebody that, that I can really see and envision being in a room with the other four power five, uh, commissioners and, and holding their own. Uh, I'm, I'm hiring somebody that's a, that's a great, great visionary. And then, you know, certainly somebody that's got an understanding of, of the media world, but, but. I don't believe that they need to have worked in it. I don't believe that they need to be an expert in it. I mean, we've got consultants that do that for you. Um, I think, you know, it'll be really important, whoever the next, next commissioner is to, to pick and choose the right consultant for, for the, for the big 12. And, um, so, you know, again, one person's opinion, that's, that's who I'm looking for. How much do, I mean, because it is, they're not official, I guess, members yet, but do the new folks get a, a say in this? Um, yeah, that's a that's another interesting question. And, and I, I think that, you know, um, and, and I think that the process is, is to, be, to be determined. Um, you know, I know that the press release talks about, you know, getting, getting a, a, a search firm in, involved, um, but I think that that process is still um, probably fluid, and uh, I think there will be a space for the the new schools. Again, one person's opinion um, will be uh, there will be a space for the new schools to to certainly be updated and uh, and to have influence. Um, but but I would I would would think that that certainly the the eight remaining are, are going to be the the primary drivers, and you know it could even be a smaller group of, of the eight potentially when you when you think of, of presidents. So again, m- one one person's opinion, but that's you know that's probably the way I would I would frame it up. 
So, Mac, there was a pretty big news breaking today with Bob Bowlesby, but uh, there was big breaking news regarding you yesterday uh, and the contract extension that was announced uh, with Baylor uh, that will keep you on board uh, on paper for, for quite a while. Uh, just your thoughts on, on how all that came together, the timing, and, and just what all of it means. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of thoughts, and, and I think the one that, that, that comes to mind probably, you know, more prominent than – than any, any of them is just, uh, gratefulness, um, gratefulness to, to, to Baylor, gratefulness to, to President Livingstone and, and to, uh, our, our board of regents, my, my colleagues on, on president's council. Um, and, and then just huge, um, huge emphasis, gratefulness for the people that, that I have the opportunity to work alongside every day our our head coaches our assistant coaches are the best of the best uh, my executive team I, I will put them up against anybody in in the country uh, all of our staff um, you know it's it's about people you've heard me say it over and over and over again and so just this 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 gratefulness um, be to be part of it and uh, be a small part of it and um, you know, I've, I'm honored to, to lead, um, uh, lead Baylor athletics, um, uh, because of, uh, what, what we stand for and, and, and how we do it. And we're never gonna, never gonna compromise that. And, um, uh, you know, again, this, this belief that, you know, Baylor's best years are, are still ahead of us. Um, I continue to say that and I don't say it because I, I want to, I want to wish it true. I, I say it because I, I really, really believe it. And, uh, God called Amy, Amy and I to, 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 to come to Waco, you know, five and a half years ago. And, uh, and that, you know, that, that hasn't changed. Mac, I, I don't know if you'll get into the timeline, but that board of Regents meeting yesterday just kind of happened. And I don't know the timeline of when they meet or whatever, but it seemed to me that it kind of just, came about uh, maybe out of the out of the unknown when did they start discussing this with you oh you know i i i think that um and again when you when you say discussing i, I think you know there were you know certainly the, the 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 primary person obviously right would be would be dr livingstone and and uh and when necessary you know uh, uh couple regions, you know, certainly the, the, the chair of our, of our regions, chair Roundtree and, and, uh, in a, in another region. But, um, you know, probably this, this conversation has been, I don't know, going on for, you know, certainly three or four weeks. Um, you know, maybe, maybe a little bit longer than that. And, um, you know, in, Quite frankly, I'm I'm hard to pin down. Um, I don't I don't I'm I'm worried about you know getting stuff done for for Baylor and and um, and and the stuff that's that's about me and my family. You know that that will that will take care of itself. So um, again, I'm I'm grateful, um, blessed, blessed beyond on belief and. Uh, you know we're we're going to have some significant challenges that uh, that we're going to be faced with in the future. So when you think about all of the stuff that's happening, so looking looking forward to facing those challenges. So Go you ahead. you learned about other things that were more important from Dave Aranda, right? Before anything was announced about a contract, you just didn't that, that kind of learn from him. Yes, kind of kind of learned from kind of learned from him. So, but um, yeah, so we we. You know we've got we've got some challenges uh, ahead of us for for you know Big Twelve for Baylor to to, to remain relevant and um, it uh, I don't think any of it is going to be going to be easy but um, you know um, I think we we all love the challenge I I know I do and and I'm excited for uh, excited to, to to take those things head on. 
Mac, uh, one of the texts that Jason Cook uh, sent yesterday to you know kind of say, okay, go ahead and uh, report this, said 10-year contract, Mac will retire at Baylor. You're a young guy, Mac. 10 years doesn't seem like that long. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm just praying I can make it 10 years. <laughs> um, you know, uh, the, the last five and a half has felt like 10 um, with some of the stuff that, that we've had to go through. But, uh, look, I uh, – I don't know, you know, um, we'll, we'll see about going the, beyond the, beyond the 10. And, and, um, you know, I think for Amy's sake, um, she probably wants me to work for as long as I can. So I'm not, not spending time at, at home driving, driving her nuts. But, um, yeah, it's, um, you know, we'll, we'll see what, what God has in store, but, um, I'm certainly, Certainly looking forward to uh, to the future. When you took this job uh, when you were at Missouri and you talked about what brought you here in the calling, did you ever have any idea that it would become as magical as it's been and or this would be perhaps your last landing spot? No. Um, I, I, I did smoke, and I appreciate the question. Um, I don't know that I allow myself to think that way. Um, you know, um, cause I'm, I'm always afraid that if you do, you get distracted. And so, um, just trying to focus on, on the task at hand. And, and if you do that, you know, well, and, and I'm, I'm certainly not saying we, we've done it. We've done it. Well, I think we've done it. I think we've done it pretty, pretty good. And, and it hasn't, hasn't just been, you know, me, it's been because of, of everybody else that, uh, that, that is here in, in terms of Baylor athletics. But if, if you, if you take care of those things, then, then everything else takes care of it itself. And, and that's kind of the way I've always, I've always approached it. Um, you know, if, if you, if you do a great job, um, with the job that you have, um, all, all of that stuff takes, takes care of itself. So, and again, I go back to, um, I've been blessed with, uh, the, to, to work alongside just some some great great people have you ever considered even thinking about being a commissioner of a conference <laughs> oh would you stop um, <laughs> you know look I'm 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 not gonna lie if I told you that that I've, I've never thought about it yeah absolutely I've thought about it um, there's there's not many of them, um, but I'll, you know, I'll be frank, um, man, the, the, the personal relationships that you have with, with coaches, um, that's, that's special. My, my relationship with, with, you know, our, our head coaches and I, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, um, you know, just pick one because, because I've got great relationships with, with, um, I'm blessed to have great relationships with, with our head coaches, but, um, they, they mean a lot to me. I'm not saying that they, they mean a lot to them, but they really mean a lot to, to, uh, to me, my, my relationships with, with the executive team, they're, they're an extension of family. They're like family to, to me, um, to be able to be on a, a campus and, you know, impact student athletes, um, and, and preparing champions for life. If, if you become a commissioner, that takes you just one, one further step away from, from that, that impact. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll tell you, somebody said to me after we lost to, uh, after we lost to North Carolina men's basketball, you know, 25 points down and you, you work that hard and you get it in overtime and you lose. I mean, you know, the, the, the worldwide sports, you know, years and years ago, the, the agony of defeat, um, that is agonizing. And, and somebody just, and just said to me, well, Hey, if you were ever a commissioner, um, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have to feel that. And they're exactly right. But that's the beauty of about, of, of, of having a, a, a team and, and rooting for a team and, that just that that team being part of who you are, um, 
that's the beauty of it. And and so I don't I don't know. I, I think that would be hard to 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 uh, to remove yourself from. And then and then finally, um, I'm not sure that you're supposed to do it as an athletic director to be on the sideline yelling at officials. <laughs> but you know this, you definitely can't do it if if you're a commissioner. So. Uh, Oh, and speaking of Kansas, Kansas That's won it all. How about Kansas, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah, happy happy for Kansas, happy for, for Coach Self and, and for Travis, the, the athletic director. He's, he's, uh, he's terrific. And, you know, you think about the Big 12 and, you know, we, we've won the last two national championships in, uh, in basketball, men's basketball. You know, I, I think it, it was in the late 2000, you know, 2008. Maybe maybe I'm wrong there, but I, I saw a stat. It, it's been a while since the conference has done that. The last conference was was the ACC. And, and so thrilled and excited for them. And, and again, you, you think about the Big 12 and, and the, the last two men's basketball national championships this year in football, uh, two of its its programs go to New Year's six games and win those both. So, Hey, the, the, the future is bright and, um, and I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. So Mac, my last question on, and back to Bob Bowlesby, can you try to put into words, the recovery, the reaction, obviously when you have your knees cut out from under you in late July as a conference with what happened, the story involving Texas and Oklahoma and Bullsby and everyone could have folded their tents, and I think most people probably hope they did. Can you try to put into words, no matter how popular a person he was with any of the fan bases, what he was able to do to salvage the conference, the cease and desist, and then expand it? Yeah, I, I, I think, you know, there's a, there are a lot of, lot of things converging, uh, converging on it, right? One is, you know, making sure that you, you select the, the right the right institutions and in, in having to to then do that in a in a really timely manner so that you know uh, this this narrative that that the, the big 12 is is unstable um, you know remains remains with you and and then then becomes becomes a reality and so um, for for the commissioner for you know him to to react and and do it in a in a timely manner, and then absolutely, uh, I think, uh, hit it out of the park with with the four um, incoming institutions. Um, you know, again, just just really really admirable, and and I think he would he would admit with 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 everything and, and with everyone, and I think maybe he he already has, but uh, you know that that hurt. Because those were those were trusting relationships, friendships that 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 he had, and and you know, so you're having to deal with those emotions. But then, you know, put those aside, and boom, immediately, you know, have a steady hand um, and say, okay, um, we we've got to move forward, and and this is how we're going to move forward, and uh, and and let's do it with with uh, with confidence and and certainty. And, uh, and he did that. And so I, I just know that the, you know, the eight institutions speaking, speaking on behalf of all, all eight, uh, we are, we are absolutely grateful for, for his leadership, um, during, during that time. Matt, congratulations on the extension. Thanks for your time again today. We appreciate it. Thank you all. Appreciate y'all. Matt Bye -bye. Rhodes, Baylor's director of athletics with us on Sikkim 365 radio and 365 sports. There's a lot to, to chew and digest with a lot of that. A lot of different opinions on the chat room and, and other different ideas, and we appreciate that uh, as well. All right, uh, 